Hello, I'm here with another Squarespace toot on uh, the magic of the spacer bar, which actually is something that when I first started doing Squarespace, I'm like, if I want an extra space, I'll just hit a return, and what the heck is a spacer bar? Uh, the more I started poking around with it, and the more I started using it, um, the more magical it became. Uh, sounds kind of corny, but it really will save your life uh, in some spots. And namely for moving images around and setting up your site in a gridded structure, which is um, something that's going to make it look a lot better. So we will start. Um, notice I've pre-put in a bunch of different images. Um, these images, since I didn't choose to stretch them across the block, which I will show you what that does. Stretch means that it's going to blow up and it's going to go full width. This means that it's going to get stay the same size as it originally was. These are 200 by, I think, uh, 70 um, pixels, so they're quite small. Notice that this one's a little bit larger, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, even larger image. Um, so stretch is something to be aware of, but I don't want this to stretch full size because I'm going to make a little client logo block here. Oops, I did not want to delete that. There we go. So I am dragging these images around, and this is something I've showed you a couple times. The black line shows where your image is going to go, um, and you can drag them. You can have up to 12 columns uh, wide in Squarespace. So I'm going to do like that, and notice how this one I can still drag full width because these are all exactly the same height, so they form one row. Now if I do something like this, I've got an image that's a lot bigger than the rest of them. So if I wanted to now try and, I can still go full white, but I want to try and get one logo that goes underneath these two. Well, I can't do that because this one is messing up the order and Squarespace knows that this is four columns wide and not two columns wide. So how do I make it two columns wide underneath or on top? That's where the spacer bar comes into play. So what I would do is choose a spacer bar and now I have it automatically one column wide. If I put another spacer bar up there and kick them right next to each other, this is four columns, but this is two columns, so I can add this one if I hover in the right spot on that spacer bar. Now I've got a two column wide image, and I can go back in and put these two on top of it, and this one back up here for these two columns. Now I've got my same four columns wide but I've got a two column wide image over here. And then I can get rid of these two spacer bars since I don't actually need them. And it'll keep the same formatting. So that's where the spacer bar really comes in handy is setting up your columns and then moving your content into place um, underneath those columns so that you can break uh, things up logically. Um, and otherwise there's really not an easy way to get that um, multi-column setup. Um, another good thing for the spacer bar is if you want to use uh, you know some space. So I want this to be this column width. I can adjust this and maneuver the height and get it you know somewhat pretty close. I just wanted to Set it, start it at the start of a new column, but I want it to be even with the bottom of this uh, relatively. Another thing I could have done was drag this so that it's full width right there. Then I could have used the spacer bar on this side of it. Oops, sorry, on this side of it. Notice how I'm making sure that this black line is not going full column. It's only going partial then I could have maneuvered that like that and now this is exactly the width of this column. 
Um, so there's a number of different ways to do the spacer bar. One thing to be extremely aware of, um, and I'll show you this on this one. Um, Squarespace automatically gives you a mobile design and that spacer bar, like I can't tell that there's a spacer bar here on desktop because there's white space there. But if I kick this down to how it's going to look like on say a phone, this is the rough and dirty way that you can see how things are going to look on your phone. It's not going to be exactly the same, um, but it'll be pretty close. So those are all fantastic. They're all lining up in the correct rows. So I've got this two column spread so it's going to read the first two of these columns and then it's going to come over and read the first two of these columns or whatever is underneath so that's also another thing to be aware of is how Squarespace is going to read your images going across since technically this these two images here are in one column because of this and because of the way that spacer bar started out these two are in another column with two columns in that one column if you can follow that um, it's reading these as two columns, so it's not going to go all the way across on top of the four. So it's not going to have Islet, then MAM, then Apple, then Service, then Apollo Med, um, because it's reading this whole block as one column and this as one column, so it shows them on top. So that's a, another thing that the spacer bar is handy for, is figuring out how you're going to arrange things um, when it comes to your mobile design, too, because especially now with the new Google thing, mobile super important, and on average, about 28 to 30% of your um, website viewers are going to be looking at it on a mobile device, whether that's a tablet or a phone. So uh, notice how my gallery blocks automatically stack so that they fit nice. Uh, my web space image, but hey, I've got this perfect space set up in between all of these things, and then I've got like double that space right here that's because it's reading this spacer bar that keeps this image held over here on the mobile and there's not really a good way around that because if I would have kept this oh let's hit save there and then refresh and this way you can you can really see um, kind of what the difference looks like too double that back into there. So let's say I would have kept this spacer bar here and put this video underneath it so that it's basically the same thing. Spacer bar is just in a different area. Come over here. It's going to look the same because there's still that spacer bar underneath, but I don't want that spacer bar to be there. And this is where you get into custom CSS because there's no way to tell mobile in the style sheet, you can't just like, hey, hide all spacer bars, which you wouldn't want to do anyways, because sometimes you want that space. So you would have to um, get a little bit creative, and this is where a little bit of code comes into play. So you would inspect your element to find your spacer bar, which this isn't going to be easy to do, and I'm probably actually... I will save this for another tutorial on exactly how to do this, but basically you would come into Firefox or a different browser so that you, you don't want to inspect your element when you're locked in here because it's going to have a different name than it will over here. Um, that'll be understandable if you know anything about code. Um, so you're going to want to Highlight over where you think your spacer bar is. Right click or double click on a trackpad um, or two finger click on a trackpad. Inspect element. Um, you can do this in Firefox, Safari, Google. You might have to turn on your developer tools in your preferences um, for your browser. Depends upon which browser and how your setup is. But you'll see a whole ton of this code looking stuff. But if you had your mouse in the right spot, it'll be pretty close. So you go through the code until you have the one that you wanted highlighted. And you need the block ID. So there will be div ID. There will be all of these classes. Um, 
there might be a div ID that's UIY that's not a block. You want the block. Um, I can't tell you exactly why you want the block, but the block always works, whereas sometimes the UIY, the specificity is not right, and it's just not going to work. So basically, I, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it in actual Squarespace right now. I'm just going to act like it's happening, so I'm cheating the browser right now. So notice how, hey, display none. So I got rid of that block, but I would want to do this using a media query just for mobile. So that when I come over here and scroll down, I don't have, um, well, actually, I still have that that block there so it's not working for mobile I'll have to set up a uh, set up a specific query for it um, in Squarespace but it'll get rid of that block just on mobile devices um, with that pixel width using uh, media queries and specialized CSS in the Squarespace custom CSS editor um, would be basically how you do that it's not a huge deal, but if you want, you know, a super clean website to look exactly like how you want it to look like on mobile, it's something that you'll want to know. Um, I wouldn't recommend going into the custom CSS editor unless you're pretty comfortable with code or you follow um, the tutorials that I will do on it exactly because it can break your site if you do the wrong thing. Um, nothing else, you know find some kid who's going to college and has some developing skills and pay him a couple bucks to help you out with your custom mobile um, edits or any sort of custom CSS you're doing. But that's pretty much it for the spacer bar. Um, just again, super useful to help out with spacing things out and maneuvering things into the proper columns.